Hey everyone, it's Carly Myers here uh, with Work You Love. Just jumping on here on a lovely Saturday afternoon. I almost said Saturday morning. <laughs> lovely Saturday afternoon um, to talk to you guys about procrastination. Is it your worst enemy? Is it stopping you from living the life that you want to live? Oftentimes, I've been finding in my conversations with people that procrastination is actually part of the root cause of two things. First of all, it is preventing you from achieving your, prof your professional goals. Second of all, because you're not achieving your professional goals in a timely manner, it's literally stealing the most valuable time that you have for yourself. Personal time to relax, to recuperate, to work on passion side projects like starting your own business. Um, and so procrastination is really becoming the enemy of change and growth um, in a lot of the people that, want, that I talk to in terms of wanting to build their dream career. So I wanted to hop on here today to give you five things to look out for when it comes to procrastination. So um, in terms of what is the root of your procrastination, maybe all five, maybe just one, what is it and how can you handle it? So the first common cause of procrastination is fear of failure. You think you won't be effective, you believe you're bad at the task, or you're on the other end of the spectrum, and you it has to be perfect or else you're gonna get rejected, right? Um, the second thing that is a really common cause of procrastination is overwhelm. We've seen so many memes on the internet, right? I have so much to do, but all I wanna do is take a nap. That's overwhelm. How can we remedy that? It's really taking a toll on our ability to actually recuperate, right? Because we're overwhelmed, we're not doing our work, and when we don't do our work, we get overwhelmed even more, and then it piles up and piles up and piles up until procrastination has literally ruined our week, our month, our year. The third thing that causes procrastination, I find a lot, is energetic exhaustion. Um, usually this is associated with chronic worry, about money, situations happening in our lives. When we are worrying all the time, that energy, that takes energy, and it literally takes energy away from what is most important to us. By the time we get to the task at hand, we're already exhausted, and then we go probably back to, I'm so tired, I wanna take a nap, right? Procrastination. The fourth thing that is a common root of procrastination is rationalization. Um, I deserve to take it easy. I did that one thing yesterday, right? Um, we're focusing more on the present gains than we are in the future gains of living the life that we want to live. So be realistic there. Um, not being realistic is the cause of procrastination. And the fifth and final uh, common causes of procrastination is perceived infinite amounts of time. What does that mean? Well, we're mostly underestimating how long things take, um, and that makes it easier for us to put it off uh, until later. So this thing's only gonna take me 15 minutes, and I've got four, four evenings after work to work on it. Well, we get to the end of the week, and hmm, we haven't done that 15 minute task, which by the way, probably takes us about 90 minutes. So underestimating the amount of time things take, but also overestimating the amount of time we actually have to do it. So these are often roadblocks for us to get stuff done. And that means there, these things are causing us to, to lose our personal time, to lose our ability to spend time with family, loved ones, friends, to relax and binge on some Netflix if we want at, after the end of the work day, right? So what I decided is that we gotta get some tools in our tool belt to be able to handle procrastination, to be able to handle work-life balance um, in general. What happens when uh, email is following you everywhere you go, when work worry is taking over? Um, and what is happening when you are on the opposite end of the spectrum and you're Netflix binging and you're avoiding your work, right? So what I did is I decided to help y'all out and create my free online training. It's gonna be happening on November 19th at 7 p.m. Yes, November 19th, that's a Monday night. Um, so no excuses. Um, it's called Work-Life Balance, How to Enjoy Life Without Sacrificing Progress at Work. So this is all about having your cake and eating it too, and it is totally possible. <coughs> Excuse me, I got excited about cake. So 
So um, if you want to join me for my free online training, please do register. You do need to register so that you can join me. You might get a special, very fancy special link to be able to join me on that evening. I will be live. So at the end of the call, I'll be answering all of your questions live. So if you have any questions, come prepared. Um, and yes, grab your spot. It's November 19th, 7 p.m. And uh, you can grab your spot at workyoulovenow.com slash balance. All right. I love you guys. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Hopefully you are at a place uh, where your work is not taking over your Saturday. But if it is, let's get to it. Get it out of the way so you can relax and have that work-life balance. And if you're really still struggling, please click the link and register. It's free. I do, I'm do. i doing this for you. And um, I will see you guys on November 19th. Okay. Bye, guys. <laughs>